Well, we know Blockbuster Video is a thing of the past. Loved it so much. And of course, landlines basically have gone. But cable, could that be a thing of the past soon as well as streaming is now taking over? But Jasmine Monroe in the know is cable making a comeback. Well, we can't call it really a comeback, but rather streaming bundles, which offers almost the same as cable. Mm -hmm. So the latest streaming bundle packaging some of the most popular streaming services on the market may be available soon. Comcast CEO Brian Roberts unveiled their plans for a new streaming bundle that will combine Peacock, Netflix and Apple TV. So let's talk prices. The streaming saver Comcast bundle will cost $15 a month, but for a $30 a month, you can have Netflix, Apple TV, Peacock, plus $40 ad supported streaming TV channels. So this all comes after Disney and Warner Brothers discovered announced Discovery announced a three way bundle compromising Max Disney Plus and Hulu to be able to starting to be available starting this summer. So prices have not been announced for both ads yet or ad free subscriptions, but the bundle will begin this summer. So we're on your side taking a look at how much all of this is going to cost for these streaming services. Now Peacock Premium will be $7.99 in July. Netflix will be with the basic ads cost $6.99 a month. Standard Apple TV costs $9.99 a month and regular Disney Plus prices plan will cost you in about $7.99 a month and Hulu's basic plan will cost you $5.99 a month. Now remember these aren't the basic plans which are the cheapest of the total of all. This comes out almost $40. So that seems a bit confusing when it comes down to it. But bottom line is it makes more sense to combine and get the bundles. So I think you know, competition comes when it comes to streaming and cable. So do you still want to have cable? Do you want to pay for the bundles together? That way you can get the best of both worlds. I think it all depends on what you're watching and how often you're watching and right. I, well, I just don't understand why the cable companies haven't learned yet. Like, yeah. you know, you, you, if you just want the full cable package, you're paying, you know, 180 bucks a month and then you mm -hmm. can each one of these streaming services. But I think in the, at the end of the day, people are trying to save money. The cable cutters, that, yeah. that was a trend you know, three, four years ago, really starting. It's all kind of a wash now. Yeah. Like it's all, you're basically so You have to have money. so many different yeah. services. It's just kind of, you just added so it back how many, up. So how many streaming devices do you individually have? Do you oh, have geez. a I, lot, right? I, 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 yeah, I think the big ones uh, that we're using are Netflix and, and and YouTube TV. That's yeah. been the way um, that I can, and I can still watch local channels, and that's the most important thing, you know, having mm -hmm. the local. Um, having First Coast well. News, of course. Hundred p, and then there's also the First Coast News Plus app. There you go. Our uh, digital team, you know, somewhere was like Lou. Did do it, it. Nail it. And we <laughs> did it. And yeah. Subscriptions it should be go right up. here, right? Right. Okay. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Jasmine. You're welcome.